everybody welcome to make movies now my name is charles i'm your host today we're gonna to learn how to do this big head effect in davinci resolve strawberry uh -oh. Uh -oh. so if you're new to the channel thanks for watching today this channel is dedicated to people who are trying to be better filmmakers videographers and video editors using davinci resolve so if you like what you saw, make sure to like button below, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload content, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, let's dive into DaVinci. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16.2.7. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in here today. Today we're going to show you how to do this big head effect in DaVinci Resolve. We've got my clip on the first timeline here on the edit page. Uh, for the trick today, we're going to do a little bit in the edit page, we're going to do a little bit in the color, do a little bit in the edit in order to create this. So you see, we've got my clip here, what we're going to do is create a duplicate here by doing Control C. And then we're going to paste this here by doing Control V, get the same exact clip, we're going to stack it on top of each other. And then we're going to kind of shuffle through where we'd like this effect to start, right about here. Uh, B on your keyboard for the blade tool, we're gonna cut this, switch back over to A to get your pointer tool. And then now we're gonna delete the other part of the clip because we don't need that. Since we're only gonna focus on this last piece where the head gets a bit bigger and red. So with this, Second clip highlighted, you're going to bring this over into the color tab here. And in the color page, what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the face as well as change the mask and create a window for the effect. So you're in the middle section here, you've got a few different items you can choose from. We're going to click on the window section here. And we're going to scroll down until we get the pen tool. And then with the pen tool selected, you're going to go up into your window and start to cut through where you'd like this effect to take place. Now, of course, the better job that you do on uh, creating your window, the better the look is going to be. But just to get a quick idea of what we're looking for, maybe I'll change some of these here. But you get the idea. Um, in order for this effect to show in the color page, on the right, with the node section here, we're going to need to create an alpha output so that this window will be created. So we're going to create uh, an alpha output by clicking on the right side of your mouse, get the drop down here, and then you're going to see add alpha output. So you click on that, that'll bring over this blue dot, and you're going to connect the blue circle to the blue square. And here we are. So once we got the window created here, the other piece we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the face. Now you can do it all within the same node here. If you want to use the same node, we can do that. Or if you'd like, what some people like to do is they like to um, kind of parcel out and add a few different nodes so that they know which node has the right effect. So if you'd like to do that, make sure you click on the node here. We're going to hold down Alt S to create the second node. You want to make sure these are all linked together here. And then in the second node, you can create the change of the color. And so what we'll do is go down here to the far right where it's under keyframes. If it doesn't have a spot that says keyframes, you can just click on it here. And we're going to go to the second node, the corrector node here, beginning of the playhead, beginning of the video. Click to make a keyframe, make a slight adjustment here, which will create the keyframe on the right. Click spacebar to play, bring it to the end, and then in this offset tool here, we're gonna change the whole picture, the whole window to be red. So just bring it all the way up to show the allergy effect. You'll see by making this change here in the offset on the far right again, it created that node. So we bring this back to the beginning and hit space again to play, you'll see the right of change. So let's go back, 
here. And if you hit the space bar, we've got the red effect for the face. Now we haven't changed the size in the face yet, so we'll do that now. So once we have uh, this clip selected, we're gonna be changing the, the size of the face and kind of animate it a little bit by using the inspector tab on the edit page. So if you're on the edit page here, on the right side, you see this inspector section. If you don't, you can go up to the top right, click under inspection, a few different things you can kind of tweak and change. We're gonna transform this clip, which will again kind of show the animation. So we're gonna drop a keyframe, which means we're gonna click these two little diamond buttons here, which is a start spot for this effect. Again, make sure you've got the top clip selected here. We're gonna click spacebar again, bring it to the about kind of mid-frame, and then once it's here, then you can make the change to make it a little bit bigger. Kind of zooming in, and then position it a bit better over the face here. And once you have that, go back to the beginning, plus sp press spacebar. As you can see, now it's animated, it's got the color, it's got the window. Now it's a bit larger, you can see where I didn't do such a good job. Kind of had some pretty uh, harsh cuts here, but again, you get the idea. You can go back and play with that a little bit to change some of the items here in the window. You can change the colors, but that's how you make the big head effect in DaVinci Resolve. Hey, thanks again for watching. I appreciate uh, taking the time to see the whole thing through. It really helps the channel out. As well, if you want to help the channel out, you can like button below, subscribe if you want to see more, comment in the comment section below, and uh, let me know something that you'd like to see in DaVinci Resolve or what page you'd like to see more of um, tutorials. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.